So welcome to Bev and Ian this morning, because we're dead good. We've actually been given our own TV show and, and this is it. Well this is what's happened, I mean we've put all the work in, we've got famous, now everyone's dying for us to be on a show. Yeah. So we thought, fuck it, we're not going on your show, we're having our own. Mm -hmm. So, good morning everyone. The time sponsored by Accurist is now 6.30. Mm -hmm. And today we have some very special guests on that we're interviewing. Oh, I know what we can do. Uh, coming up on this morning, because you punched that black girl in the toilet and everyone's forgotten about that since she got sacked on the X Factor. Not having a pet, she can burn in hell pet. So that's what we've got coming up, but now we've got an interview with uh, Kerry and Cheryl, um, who we're very happy to have on this morning. Well, yes, they are good friends you know, of ours, so yeah. we thought, first people we're getting on, yeah. Kerry, Kerry um, whatever her name is, and Cheryl, that one from Newcastle. Well, Cher Cheryl Katona and... Um, Kerry Cole. Kerry Cole. <laughs> it's funny because um, she likes her cokes in um, Cole form. Right, so welcome to this morning uh, with, well, Bev and Ian this morning. Um, are you both okay? We are pet. Find me pet. Find, find for Cheryl pet. You like cow? Kerry pet is a bit ill pet. Oh! <coughs> What is good to hear. Yeah. Always good at this time yeah. of the morning. Yeah. I, mean, I know it's hard for you to get up, Kerry, when you've done one of your nights that are well, and you've got wrecked as fuck and no. you just can't breathe in the morning. But thanks for coming in so early. It's an absolute pleasure to see you both. Yeah. Yeah. Now, we believe you've both got new books out. What's this about? What's going on? <laughs> we I pet. Dana Life of Cheryl Pet is a very good read, Pet, because it's all about me, Pet, and what can be a better read than that, Pet? You fucking slark, you. But Kerry's book, Pet, I think is written by Crayola Pet, because it's in fucking Biro, and they don't even make Biro, they do crayons, but Kerry ate the crayons for all the pictures, Pet. Well, sounds quite interesting. It does, actually, it? yeah. I mean, I yeah. can't believe Kerry. I didn't even know you could even write or read. Well, that's it. I mean, has someone written it for her? Inspirational. Uh, I know. Is there yeah. anything you can't do? Well, that's it. Iceland, cash lady. This is another question on our minds. Mm. What will you be doing next? <laughs> Well, that sounds like she's got some future plans. It's always good to have some future plans. Yeah. Now, um, Kerry, the, the people upstairs are asking, are you okay? Are you on any medication at the moment? Can you breathe? Yeah, what's this all? You are you okay, Kerry? Well. Are you okay? Well, I'm fine, pet, but I don't know about her, pet, because she's acting a bit strange, pet. Ever since that Skype call came out from you two bastards, pet, I want you to burn and cunt in hell, pet. How do you feel, Kerry Pet, when I call your name, Kerry Pet? I can't fucking breathe. She's fine, Bring Pet. Ambulance. She's a bit fine there, Ian Pet. Bring an ambulance. She's fine, Pet. I it's can't just it's, it's the coke talking, Pet. I had the same problem with Ashley Pet, but then I realised I was going out with the wrong one, and it was the one who had Fred Elliot as a molesting uncle. Was that because you punched that black girl in the toilet and everyone's forgotten about that since she got sacked on The X Factor? Because, yeah, nobody could tell what you're saying. To well, be quite think. honest, I don't actually know what you're saying right now. You're almost as bad as Kerry. <laughs> we I pet, well, Kerry here, pet. She had her disco ball on her head, pet. And I was just like, well, you can't do that, pet. And she was like, I want to do it whole again in a music say. video, pet. And then she was all about that, pet. And I was just like, you can't be doing that because I've got to call your name, pet. How do you feel? And she wouldn't give me an answer, Pet, and I was like, well, how would you do that then, Pet? And she was like, is your boyfriend black? And I was like, I think he might be a little bit black, or he might be half-cast. But I might do a Beyonce and try and bleach him, because I've got some Domestos left over from when I went to Iceland, Pet. Now, Cheryl, you did a song recently, and, I mean, I don't know about you, I thought it was so inspirational when you said them words, and it was, we gotta fight, 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 fight. Fight for this love? I mean, did anyone actually fight for this love? We I pet. F 
Fight, 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 fight for this love pet was my first single pet. Shit. Against Nadine pet, cause she's a bitch pet. She's ruined girls allowed pet. Not having it pet. She can burn in hell pet. Fucking shit. So Kerry, I've also learned as well in the newspaper the recent scandal about prawn rings. Um, are you aware that it was actually false advertising when you were saying you were a pound? Because they're actually one pound fifty. Mm -hmm. um, and I don't know whether you were part of it. I mean, I'm not naming names, but it's a bit disgusting. I mean, if you're planning a party and you put it down to a key and then you've got it just like, you know, what what is that about? Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. Well, that's it for today's show. So we hope that you've enjoyed it, and uh, that you'll like, subscribe, and comment, and follow us on Facebook and Twitter. The both of us, because we're lovely people. And um, we'll see you soon. Thanks for watching and have a really good day. Bye! Bye.